get right down to it, there are two purposes in the mind. The purpose of the spirit and the purpose of the ego. If you want to keep it really, really simple. And the question, what is it for, helps you answer whether you're in the purpose of the spirit or the purpose of the ego. So what is the card? What is the Christmas? What is it for? Just being really honest of your motivation. And if it's for keeping reciprocity or keeping keeping the games of the world going, then it's of the purpose of the ego. And what you do comes from what you think. So you can use behavior to point towards motivation and see what the thoughts in the mind are. And it's the thoughts that you want to let go of. That's why we're saying that the lady was here. We start on the surface of things and go backwards. But we never stop there. You can never point to the behavior and say this is inherently one way. It's actually nothing. There's a line in the Course in Miracles. Money is, not the root of all evil, money is nothing. Birthday card is nothing. But do you really believe that? <coughs> do you really believe that? That's the question. If you think about your day, how much attention do you give to following the preferences of the world, the restaurants you want to eat at because you like certain food, the, the job that you feel you need to pay your bills? There's nothing inherently wrong with any jobs. I've actually probably done a lot of them, most of them. But what is it for? Does it serve your awakening? Or is it keeping you trapped in the games of the world? And most, if not all things, that you currently do now are being used by the ego to keep you bound. So when some of the greatest Course teachers say things like, live a normal life, just live a normal life. Be normal. That ain't going to do it. Did Jesus have a normal life? Did Buddha have a normal life? Did any of the great saints and mystics have a normal life? What, he, what he's trying to say when they say be normal, they're, they're just trying to say, you know, it's all about forgiveness. It's really about forgiveness. It's not about behavior. But the ego takes that and just tries to keep its classroom the same. A lot of times people say, just use your current classroom. Don't make any changes. Just bring forgiveness there. But really what they're saying is, I want to keep my life the way it is. Like in a psychotherapy, psychotherapy pamphlet, most what do you call it, patients that go to psychotherapists actually want to retain the world as they see it, but without the pain that it brings them. And that is the single most difficulty, single greatest difficulty of the psychotherapist, is to somehow bring the gap that I want my life to stay the way it is, but without the pain. But the life as it is, is hell. And yet they want hell without the pain. It can't be done. So somehow the spirit has to come into the seeming hell doesn't really, but come into it, the perception, and unwind the mind, and, and show you through contrast scenarios and situations, guidance. Go here, do this, where you thought would be sacrificed as a blessing, and convince the mind that hell is hell, and that the real world is the real world. And that is no small undertaking. It's like the upside down boat. Again, to be told that you don't know what love is? Come on. Go, ahead, go to anybody on the street and tell them they don't know what love is. That's a preposterous statement to make to the ego. Because it's convinced it knows what love is. Otherwise, why would it continue to do what it's doing? I don't know. But every day it's like a waking up to the excitement of it being revealed to me and seeing the synchronicities and the miracles and, and blocks being removed from awareness like holy crap and the excitement of 
of crying with my brothers and sisters and the joy of remembering our purpose. You know, that's what my life is devoted to. But love is actually beyond this world. <coughs> love has nothing to do with this world. That's like the great rays. You know, where all perceptions totally disappeared. I can tell you I have a miraculous life. But love, waking up beyond the dream, I give that to God. Full, that's why we don't take this lightly. It's like this is going to take a full-time questioning of everything that you value. And if you retain one scrap of the ego's perception in your awareness, you retain all of it. You will believe this, in course, entirely or not at all. Including metaphysics, we need to allow, allow the metaphysics to go. There is no right and wrong in metaphysics. If I started to use metaphysics to gloss over and to start to make a stand of I know what it takes, I know what awakening is, you're trapped again. This is a constant up, opening up to this I don't know state. Learning all this course, the whole purpose of learning this course to let it go. To come to an experience of I truly do not know what anything is about and what all this metaphysics is saying. I do not know. You know, there are some other teachers who used to, um, who used to talk about a metaphor of, of if the room is the last place that you want to stay, and what does it take for you to explore the room? You have to lock yourself and throw the key out if this is the last place you want to go because you're going to constantly try to find a way out. And that's exactly what's going on with the mind. We don't even know how much we're terrified to look into the mind and see what's there. This is the last place we want to go. We constantly try to avoid the pain, keep the pleasure, not knowing they're the same. We constantly want to gloss over and talk above it and to affirm our way to happiness. The last thing we want to do is to go through it. But this is the only way. Give it to the Spirit, allow the Spirit to guide and be humble. Gradually come out, allow the mind to unwind. All these metaphysics that talks about absolute. If there is a time timeline that we still believe in, we have no clue what the metaphysics is talking about. No clue. So the metaphysics is only a stepping stone so that we can constantly incur be encouraged to, to keep following the Spirit because it's not the metaphysics that's going to get us anywhere. It's the following of the Spirit and getting into the experience of expansion, of the unknown, of it's I do not know who I am anymore gradually. That is the true knowing that's going to happen. That's the whole point of the Course. Keep following the Spirit, keep following the Spirit. Do not take any stand, do not draw any conclusions about anything. Open your mind.